The sun is, uh, it works off fusion, as we know. Space dragons have excreted, whatever it is they excrete, dark matter, I suppose, um, collected by the giant space dung beetles, yeah, to create their big balls like they do. Um, it's then got to a sufficient uh, mass and density, and nuclear fusion has started at its core, because the pressure creates heat, that's a true fact, okay, and thus the sun was born, as did all other stars. Now, you know, many, 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 many ages ago, the space dragons didn't have wings, they wriggled and used etheric attraction to propel themselves from one place to another. However, when there was enough stars, they then developed wings to catch the electromagnetic flux, so as to propel them forward. Now, they prey upon the terrible space crackers, which keeps the population down, because if there's too many of the buggers, then, you know, all life as we know it would end. Their, their hunger is rapacious and they reach long. They're omnivorous, you see, but they do need to feast upon living things. And so they sail sinisterly through the void, you know, the dying stars glinting off their hardened carapaces, trailing their hundred-mile-long tentacles in the cold, cold space until they get the scent of life. And they then propel themselves towards it, viciously, angrily, hating it. You know, when they get there, their presence, because of the, like, the gravitational effects... Of... Well, ship, the scientists have, have, have identified dark matter, and it yeah. moves. There you go, it's a space cracking. Oh, shit.